So in my opinion, there's no quicker way to elevate your style than with a fresh flannel shirt. There's so many different brands out there that make them. Literally every men's clothing brand makes a flannel shirt. So what I did is I went out and I found five excellent choices, a nice little range of prices as well. Everything from very affordable to pretty affordable. So you can get every single flannel shirt I'm about to show you here. Nothing breaks the bank, different qualities, different patterns, all of that we're gonna dive into with this video. It really is one of the best ways to step up your game as far as being stylish goes. Nothing is sponsored in this video, but shout out to everyone that does support my sponsored content. There's gonna be a little bit that's trickling down over the next month or two. I hope you do support that because everything I make from it, I put right back into this channel. Before I forget to mention this, I just wanna throw it out there. I am 6'2", 190. My true size in flannels is usually a large, so I'll mention that throughout the video and I'll link all of these down in the description as well. The shirt I'm wearing is from The Gap. That'll be linked there and yeah, that should be everything that I typically forget to mention. Let's get into it. All right, so since I'm already wearing a shirt from The Gap, that's where we're gonna begin. I bought both of these at the same time and it's no secret that I'm a big fan of Gap flannels. Honestly, it's probably the best place to buy flannel shirts, in my opinion. It's the best bang for your buck. I like the fit, I like the selection, and of course, the price is always affordable. The average price for a flannel at The Gap is like low 30s, 32, 33. Sometimes you can get them for 25. They constantly have sales, so make sure you look up at the top for what the daily promo code is gonna be. Usually it's 40% off. This looks so much better in person than it does in pictures and probably this video. The light Carolina blue really pops. It's mixed with a navy, a red, and then there's a little bit of yellow. So that is something that I always look for, the color combination on the plaid shirts. And that's what I mean about stepping up your style quickly. You can really play with a bunch of different colors with a plaid shirt. It's so easy, just throw it on and then you have so much to work with from there. I'm thinking about like a Carolina blue Jordan 1 or something like that. It would work perfectly with this shirt. The material is a very soft brushed cotton, no wool in here. None of these have wool in them because they tend to make me itch a little bit and that's not something I look for. Even though it's very warm, none of these have wool in them for the most part. They're all cotton, but this one is super soft, probably the softest on the list. And that's something that's definitely important. You gotta be cozy in the winter time, you know the deal. This has a very generous fit. They also offer it in tall sizes. This is a large, regular, really like the way it fits me. No problems with it. I can layer a hoodie underneath it if I want to. Recently I've been wearing this with just like a white thermal underneath. So that's the gap, let's keep it rolling. Next up we got something from ASOS and I briefly showed this to you guys in my Black Friday video. This is probably my favorite one in the video. The color combination right here is so simple. You really don't see a light gray and off-white paired together on a flannel shirt very often. Usually there's some kind of contrast in there. I really like the way it fits me as well. This is an extra large. So I actually did size up on it and it gives me that nice roomy fit. I probably could have gone true to size. A lot of times I wear hoodies underneath my flannels. So I want there to be more room there. And if I don't know which size to get, I'll error on the side of caution, which is sizing up, as opposed to going with my true size or sizing down or something where it's gonna be way too snug. Honestly, this gives off kind of like a John Elliott type vibe, and that's exactly how I wanna wear this with a villain John Elliott hoodie underneath it. So very excited for this one, only 40 bucks, and I'm definitely gonna be buying more colors. Okay, moving on to a brand that I did not think I was gonna be talking about, but here I am. This is George from Walmart. So on the last flannel video I did, you guys were like, you gotta check out Walmart, they got deals on flannels, so that's exactly what I did. I walked my ass into Walmart today. If I can give you guys a little bit of advice here, buy your clothing online from Walmart if you know exactly what you want. I was like losing my mind in Walmart today. They had a bunch of different options, you were right. There's definitely some good flannels there, but the size ranges I was looking at, they only had smalls and triple XLs. So I'm like, okay, Maybe it's just this one Walmart. I go to the next Walmart, pretty much the same thing. Smalls, extra smalls, triple XLs. Okay, so finding this size large was a little bit hard. Let me just say that. It was difficult 
to find a flannel shirt I wanted in a size large. So just buy online, make it a little bit easier. So let's talk about this thing real quick. George from Walmart, they make flannels that are like $8. You can go in there or you can shop online for a flannel that's $8. That's a fact. I actually bought one earlier this year and it's a piece of crap. It's exactly what you would expect. $8 for a shirt that will pretty much fall apart on you. It immediately started pilling. I put it in the washing machine once. Nope. Like Nope, not wearing it again. I donated it. Also, just a little reminder here, don't ever throw away your clothes. You should always donate them or recycle them. There's a difference there. If you think someone else may wear it again, it's something decent, donate it. If it's absolutely a piece of junk with holes in it, don't throw it in the trash can, recycle it. There's recycling bins for clothes everywhere. Just do that, don't just throw it in the trash. That's my two cents. But anyway, this flannel right here hits for $17. So if you spend a little bit more than that $8 shirt that I went out and bought, you can get something like this. It's the most affordable on the list and it's a great way to get a bunch of different flannels in your closet if that's your thing. If you're all about quantity over quality, right here, man. You should get every single color that they make because 17 bucks for one of these, not bad at all. If you wanna go the $8 route, you can do that. Just buy like three or four of the same color because you're gonna run through those pretty quick. This is a stretch material, so it has a little bit of an elastic give and it also has somewhat of a sheen to it. Tan Tims and a red and black flannel, forget about it, bro, you're good. Straight up lumberjack vibes, never goes out of style. Grow a beard while you're at it, get a little beanie hat. Just make sure the clothing fits you well. That's how you differentiate yourself from an actual lumberjack. Get some tapered pants that fit you nicely, something like this that's a little bit more slim than oversized, and then the good Tims, the classic wheat Tims, laced up however you wanna do it with not many scuffs on them. If they're beat up, if they have paint on them, leave them at the job site, buy some fresh Tim's, pair it with something like this, your money, let's keep it rolling. Okay, next up is probably one of the best flannels that you can buy in the mall. PacSun, they're everywhere. They're pretty much in every mall or outlet and they have a good selection of flannels. In my opinion, this is the best flannel that PacSun put out this year. It's this really cool clay blue color. It's kind of like a grayish blue mixed with a tan and a white. So very soft colors on this one, which is something that I definitely like. Not a lot of contrast. This is more of like a springtime vibe, but whatever, you know, it, you can wear this year round if you want to. Price tag on this thing is $34, very reasonable. They always have sales as well. So check that out. It's got a little bit of a roomy fit. I went true to size and I could probably even fit into a medium. So there's no reason to size up, even if you wanna layer with this sweatshirt right here. <laughs> sweatshirt, yeah. No. <laughs> this is a good one to pair with light denim or khakis as well. So if you've been wanting to pair some of your flannels with khakis, this is a good option right here. So there you go, pack some with some options this fall and winter. Okay, and then last up, the shirt with the best quality on this list. It's also the most expensive, and that's how it is. You know, you get what you pay for. And this thing is $68. It's from Everlane, a brand that I talk about all the time. This is on the list for people that want that step up from all of these brands. You know, the quality's not bad on them, but it's not this. This is certainly something that will last you a long time. You can wash this, you can take care of it, and it's gonna hold up for years. I have five or six different flannels from Everlane. I wear them all the time, and they've honestly held up great. So I can attest to their quality it's worth it, honestly, it's worth it. It's got this classic color blocking of a plaid shirt with the big squares on it. I like browns, tans, forest greens, earth tones, so that's why I went ahead and grabbed this guy right here. I'm gonna pair it with these Air Force Ones that also have that forest green swoosh, something a little bit different. Certainly more of a menswear type flannel. Sizing wise, this is an extra large. Everlane stuff tends to run a little bit snug, so I always size up on their flannels, but that is all five of these. Let me know a brand that you guys have been wearing this fall and winter. What's your go-to? Put us on, leave a comment, and let me know what flannel brands you've been rocking. Be sure to hit that thumbs up on this video so that more people find it. Subscribe if you are new, and a lot more content is on the way, of course. If there's anything you wanna see, be sure to leave it down below, and I'll consider it. Hey, you guys told me to go to Walmart and buy a flannel. 
here I am featuring it right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.